I'm bringing you guys to the Grand Rapids Gold versus the Delaware Blue Coats NBA G League game with me. I've been waiting all year for this game. The goal are right down the road from me, pretty much walking distance if I wanted it to be. It's a little chilly outside though. And I'm here to watch some players that I've been interested in for a long time. That being Mac McClung, who is on the Delaware Blue Coats. If you've been around my channel or have watched some of my older videos, you know I've made a lot of videos about Mac McClung reacting to some of his college highlights and his high school mixtape. So now Mac is in the G League playing for the Blue Coats and he is in town tonight and tomorrow night. I'm heading up there tonight to check him out. Some other key players in this game that I'm also excited to watch. Some ex-Pistons, Louis King, Sabin Lee, Sekou Dumboya. He's on the squad. Braxton Key was also on the Pistons last year, okay? We got a couple Detroit Pistons coming into town as well. The Gold has some solid players as well. Flat top King Norris Cole, he is also on the Gold. Um, some players that have come through the Gold in the past, Isaiah Thomas, Lance Stevenson, Nick Stauskas, okay? We get to see some NBA talent tonight and I'm pumped for it. Now, I'm going alone. And that's all right, no big deal. But I do want to take you guys with me and make this into a video. So I'm very excited to do this. If you guys are excited as well and have never seen a G League game, what it looks like, how it is, the environment, all that kind of stuff, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Come check it out with me. This is my first time as well, and I am pumped.
home. Now, overall, the experience is pretty cool. Not a lot of people there, but don't blame them. I mean, it is the NBA G League. Pretty cool to see a lot of people out there that you know, you've heard of, you maybe watched growing up or something, or recently. Andre Miller, the head coach of the uh, of the gold. God's Jam God is the assistant coach for Delaware. George Carl's son is the head coach for Delaware. Who else? I mean, Mac McClung was out there. Didn't see any Seiko Dumboya. Uh, didn't see some people I expected to see, but overall it was a pretty, pretty cool experience. How many former NBA players can I name at a G League game? 3x NBA champ, Patrick McCaw. Former Detroit Piston, Braxton Key. Number 12 all time in assists, Andre Miller. 2x NBA champ, Norris Cole. Former Jazz guard and national champion, Ned Baylor. Jared Degode. Butler, Lakers and Bulls legend, Mac McClung. For teams in three years, shifty guard, Charlie Brown Jr., former Duke star and Bucks guard, Trevin Duval. Former piston guard, Lewis King. Pistons legend, Seku Dumbuya. One thing I did want to mention though that I picked up on during the game was that they only shoot one free throw. And no matter how many free throws you're taking, whether it's fouled on a three-pointer and you're taking three shots, an and one, a common foul where you're shooting two, you're always taking one free throw. If you miss that one free throw, all of those free throw attempts are misses. If you make that one free throw, all of those free throw attempts are considered makes. So for example, Mac McClung got fouled tonight on a three-point shot. He shot one free throw and he made it. That means he got all three points. I just thought that was a very weird and wild rule difference between the NBA and G League. I think for this level and what the G League is, it honestly works pretty well. Keeps the people captivated so you're not standing or sitting there watching free throws all night at a G League game. So I think maybe that's a dub. I just thought that was pretty cool. Other than that, there wasn't any differences that I really noticed. Uh, you can definitely hear the players louder than you can in a regular NBA game, obviously, especially with how close I was tonight, which to be honest, wasn't very much money. It was like 25 bucks to sit that close. So very good deal, to be honest. It seems like they don't take it super serious, to be honest. I thought it would be a little more serious. You know, these guys are trying to make it up into the league. So you'd think it'd be like very like hardcore cutthroat kind of thing. It's honestly not. There's a lot more joking going on out there than, than I've seen for most NBA games and NBA teams, especially in person, other than the Phoenix Suns and DeAndre Ayton. That dude fools around way too much. Like I said, overall, pretty cool experience. I'll definitely be at more throughout the season, hopefully. Gonna catch some Grand Rapids Griffins games. Those are, you know, the hockey team, the affiliate for the, the Detroit Red Wings, obviously. If you enjoyed this kind of video, this kind of content, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.